Hello everyone and welcome back to Sims Medieval. I want to play a missing child quest and I think it would be a perfect opportunity to play with Troubadour Ismail. I haven't had an opportunity to play with this character yet, so let's do that. Rohan was a buzz with the news of a child gone missing. Recovering the child safely would be an incredible boon to kingdom morals. Find the missing child any way you can. Okay, and as I said, let's play with the troubadour, Ismail. I will find him through song. Great, what should we do today? Something's amiss among the town people. They barely stir at the sound of my music. I should ask around and discover the source of the distress. Investigate disturbance. Investigate disturbance. Alas, a child has gone missing. A few of the villagers claim to have seen a small boy hiding around the town. Perhaps there is some way for me to help find him. Write a poem to spread the news. Play a song to rally the people. Hmm. Play the song. Play a song to rally the people. Perform three songs on a lute. Do I have a lute? Yes, I do. Perform. Okay, and what should we do today? Write a war poem and perform a poem. The people seem inspired. Hopefully, they will find the boy soon. I should perform some of my bodily duties and wait for any news. Wait. Okay, write a poem. I guess we should do it at the tavern. Okay, write. Not enough inspiration. What do you mean? Okay, go to sleep. I hear the town people's voices returning from the search. They sound joyful. If they've returned with a boy, I should find him quickly and speak with him. The voices sound like they're heading towards the town square. I ran away because of the lack of good music in our town. When I heard your song, I was overjoyed and came back. That's it? Oh, oh. <laughs> the child has been found and safely returned home. Hooray! Okay, it was a very short mission for our bard. I guess let's choose another quest. Okay, this one sounds like a short one. Heir to the throne. Lady Amelia the Great was having a midlife crisis, brought on by the realization that she had no worthy heir to the throne and no suitable mate. The queen would do whatever was necessary to have the right child. Find a suitor and have a child worthy of the royal throne before age catches you in its moral grasp. Okay, let's see. Write to new laws. Lady Amelia the Great looked around herself and said, I'm unhappy with what I have because I have not a worthy successor to pass it all down to. Amelia vowed on this very day to begin a search for a worthy suitor who could give her the right child. But getting the right child would not be easy. Write declaration of intent. Okay, this one is done. The declaration reads, fellow citizens of Rohan, I, Lady Amelia the Great, hereby declare my intent to choose among you a suitor, one who is fertile and exhibits the qualities I desire in my child. Signed, Lady Amelia the Great. Postscriptum, I like tiaras, training dummies and warm ba baths. Do you? Perfect. Now, to drop this in the nearest post. And also we should hunt and kill a great bear once again. Excellent! Those will go out to every citizen in Rohan. Now I should clean up if I'm to be presentable on my search for a willing father. Okay, let's go and hunt. Hunt for a great bear. 
Amelia tracked down a large black forest bear to its feeding ground, surprising the animal. She dispatched the fairy honey lover with a single bow, carving out four choice chunks of bear meat to take home. Bathe in a tub. Okay, let's go home. We don't have a bath. How calm. Are you sure? Not here, not here. Great. A monarch doesn't have a bath. Okay, and now go to and take a bath. Oh my god, what's going on? How simply irresistible I'll be. Now a smell of honeysuckle and morning dew drops. It is time to look for suitors. Choose a potential suitor. Oh my god, where are they? Oh, we have three here. Oh my god, so many people, what the hell? Okay, I see, I see. Okay, let's start with people that are right here. It's our Sir Dale and Buildmaster Shane. Let's try and know him. What are his traits? I don't remember. I still know nothing about him. Okay, I don't want to spend hours on choosing the potential suitors, right? So let's just ask those three, three guys. How exciting! I would love to be considered to father your child. Oh, I think you like me the best. I can show you a good time. Okay, and this one. You have done well to consider me, your majesty. I have very pure blood, you know. Well, Plenty happened to me today. I'd like to write a journal entry about all this. Yes. Write in journal. Yeah. Okay. Let's write in a journal. Dear journal. I have chosen some very fine men as possible suitors. I've realized I barely know how to proceed. I can't just pick one. How do I figure out who is the best? What values should Lady Amelia the Great look for in a suitor? I've always wanted a funny friendly mate. Or strong aggressive mate. Uh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, funny friendly mate. Humor and friendliness are of the utmost importance when the fates of entire civilization rest in the balance of one's hands each day. First, I shall summon a joke from each suitor. Oh, that's great. Ask for a joke. I have the key to your chastity belt and you have the key to my heart. Oh, wait. That was a pickup line. Uh, I'll stick with that. You're cute. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, where are the others? The. Oh no. <laughs> Have you ever caught yourself on a chamber pot? It stinks. Hum. All right. And. The third suitor. How many Jacobins does it take to light a Latin? Why bother with a Latin when there is a whole Peter and Chapel nearby? Okay. Give a royal embrace of friendship to each suitor. Really? Is that how you judge people? This is getting a bit absurd, if you ask me. I'd rather judge another by the weight of the purse. I didn't ask your opinion, to be honest. Your embrace is so gentle, my lady. If only I were to embrace you like that each day, hence, I would make a happy father for your child. Simply delightful, Lady Amelia the Great. Might I suggest we try something a little more romantic? Write a journal. Yes, we need to sleep. 
Call for food, yes. That's what I wanted. Sleep. Eat. And then sleep. Oh, hello! Royal Advisor Rowena. Oh, how cute is that? I love that. Okay, I'm afraid we should wake up. Okay, read the war crime docket. Reread. Sign royal arrest warrant. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sign royal warrant. Now write journal entry. And send the guildsman to the socket. Send to the socket. Kristen, Kristen. Her name is Kristen. Attack! Should Lady Amelia the Great open up her heart or keep this a business relationship? I might be open to a deeper relationship. Write a love letter. Now, to hand this letter to my chosen suitor, my sweet love-to-be. Okay. I think I'll choose... Where are they? Why should I run for them? Okay, I decided to choose our Guildmaster Shane. Let's give him our love letter. Oh, my heart sings with joy. You have chosen me. Now, which... Virtues are you looking for in our child to be? Where should Lady Amelia the Great search first for virtues for the child? Strength of arms in a worthy virtue to pass along to one's child or empathy is an important virtue for any royal heir. Empathy. I will seek to gain a virtue by empathizing. What better way to do that than through sincerest Apology. That is a fine question. I will definitely look for virtues. As a matter of fact, I shall go off in search of virtues for the child presently. Argue with someone. Great. Mean argue. Then apologize. I can feel the virtue in my tear ducts. I have gained the virtue of compassion. Where should Lady Amelia the Great search for a second virtue for, the, for her child? The deep cave must hold hidden virtues. The bustling town surely holds the virtues of the populace. Search the distant village for virtue. Yep. It's very convenient that we stand here. This town is not filled with charlatans, but rather with interesting characters. There are many bargains to be had, but also friends to be made. Now that I have spent time with the people of the village, I understand they are selfless at heart. I have gained the virtue of generosity. Okay, what's next? Where should Lady Amelia the Great search for the next virtue for her child? The mind holds all the virtue one will ever need. The soul contains the purest virtue. That's a difficult one. Mind or soul? Mind. The mind holds all the virtue one will ever need. Let's try this one. I will prop people's minds for the final virtue that I might take with me for my heir. Ask Lady Ro Lady, right? Ask Royal Advisor Ravina. Ask Build Master Shane. And ask the guard. She who does not look into the pit of judgment does not risk falling in. She also does not capture the knowledge of what lies inside. Do not wet armor to bed unless you sleep in the dance of dragon. The portcullis of opportunity does not crank open by itself. You must open it. Yes, you, Lady Amelia the Great. And write in journal. 
I see now many wise words. I have gained the virtue of knowledge. Now that I have collected three virtues for my child, I should write down my thoughts. Dear journal, what an adventure it has been. I have not only collected three virtues of value for my child, but but I have learned much about myself. I admit that I am worried about being able to produce the desired child, or any child at all for that matter. What if the sheath cannot hold the sword? Give your suitor a kiss. Goodbye, my dearest Amelia. I shall await you in the forest. Bring the pomegranate-flavored fertility wine, okay? <laughs> Unexpected. Will I be able to drink the wine? Will it help? It's hard to get my mind off the pressure of having to... Well, I hope it all works out. Wow, the ship is rocking wildly. Please come back safely. Got the wine! Hmm, this is a rather large bottle. Fit for a king and queen, I suppose. So, where is the suitor? Hi, Amelia. Look what you brought. The finest virtue an heir to the throne could ever need. Oh, look at the size of those jugs of fertility wine. You got pomegranate just like I asked. Where were we supposed to drink all of it? Couldn't hurt, could it? And so the fertility ritual began. Amazing. Okay. Not even the silent wind knew what the future would hold for the couple. That was perfect. I'm feeling extra fertile. Now is the time to have a child. How will this affect my relationship with my suitor? Mary's suitor. Wow. Mary's suitor. Well, that's great, but uh, I'm hungry and sleepy. Yes, I think it's time to get up and call for food. And let's make the bed. First kiss, yes. Oh, ask for hand in marriage. Mereda, they told for Nard. Hebeti? Oh, Lobralin. For Vets Webigan. Congratulations, Amelia and Shane are now betrothed. They can get married in a church if they're members or at any location in the kingdom. Ow. Congratulations, Lady Amelia the Great and Build Master Shane just got married and were given a gift. Yes, now is the time to have a child, but do I care about the gender? Do I want a prince or a princess? No, I will be happy with whatever the Watcher gives us. Plan mating strategy on tactic map. Are you serious? That's fascinating. Amelia has achieved great success. I got it all figured out. Now it's time to bring my heir into this world. Gregor, that's enough. That's enough. Come on. Woohoo him. Woohoo. Everyone leave, please. Thank you. Is there anything better in this world? Oh, Jesus, I don't know. Have a baby. 
We won't know if that worked for a little while anyway. We should keep woohooing until we have the child, just to be sure, of course. Well, don't leave then! Yes. Let's kiss her. Yeah. Please don't hate us, we love you. Oh, and she's pregnant. Great. And kiss after that. Sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Okay, now we definitely know she's pregnant. Praise her beauty. Romantic hug. I hope her husband isn't here. No, he's not here. The baby's coming! Make sure Amelia is at home so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. Sure. What? What should I do? Let's just wait and watch. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's call him Quentin. Cuddle baby and feed. Now that I've had some time, I'd like to write one final journal entry about my new child. I have so much pent up inside. Dear journal, although this child is not what I'd expected, it's so much more. My previous expectations are but a hazy dream now. The first time this child looked into my eyes, my soul was touched. I've decided this child will be the heir to my throne. I've combined my journal into an epic novel of my personal adventures. One day my new child will be old enough to read it. And thus Lady Amelia the Great got her heir to the throne. Rohan rejoiced. But much more than that, Amelia learned the meaning of many virtues and was touched by the magic of having a child of one's own. Do, 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 do. Okay, we finished two quests this time, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you for being here with me today and I'll see you in my next video.